think Clarion does not have uh, uh, only one uh, achievement. It has, of course, several ones. But for me, well, that one that stands out is that we have been able to create a uh, community which is uh, collaborating really well, mm -hmm. which is not always the case in uh, res with research community infrastructures. Uh, I think uh, we can be proud that we have uh, created in Clarin a network of centers, of organizations, of people that are really uh, prepared to invest in the community without immediately needing uh, immediate compensation. Another thing which we managed to do is, I think, to uh, uh, build a uh, sound uh, infrastructure. We are, compared to others in our um, neighborhood, we are uh, pretty advanced, I would say. And um, also we have been able to put the requirements and the needs of the community and the research infrastructure on the map and make ourselves visible uh, as representing large community of users. CMDI, the component metadata infrastructure, is a uh, flexible way of allowing uh, researchers to create metadata that is suitable for their type of resources. When we were thinking about what type of metadata would a clearing infrastructure need, we could have thought of, well, let's create a new schema that will make an end to all other metadata schemas that are out there, because there were quite a lot of schemas around. Uh, but we thought it would be better if we would approach the problem, huh? metadata is there to find uh, resources, to approach that in a more flexible way. So allowing the users to choose or to create their own metadata schema and just provide what we call the interoperability part of it also, some uh, ways of uh, mapping the different metadata schemas uh, on one another. And I think we have achieved something that uh, stands out from the rest. Well, SHOCK is a um, cluster project and uh, the challenge for the cluster project is to have kinder research infrastructure, kinder research communities meet common challenges in a common way. So look what uh, the different uh, partners in this project, uh, so there is Clarin, but next to Clarin there is the social sciences, SESTA, and there are the broad humanities, DARIA, and there is the uh, cultural heritage community. And uh, what we want to do in that project is to see what kind of challenges do we have in common and how can we come to common solutions. Now, not every challenge has a, a common solution, so there will be some uh, challenges where everybody has its uh, own uh, solution and it is quite good. Uh, on the other hand, we are getting informed about these differences and maybe we can profit from our differences. Uh, but there is a clear challenge in, and a clear will to attack certain type of challenges in a common way. We get informed about uh, how other communities are approaching certain uh, challenges. Uh, we can learn. I think we can learn, for instance, from uh, the social sciences, how they deal with uh, surveys. I mean, they've been doing surveys for a very, very long time. Um, from the broad humanities, Daria, for instance, we can uh, learn how to approach a much broader base of potential users. And uh, we can, uh, uh, I hope, uh, leverage what we know about language technology for their purpose. There is, of course, uh, the future. Um, I have been uh, uh, talking a bit about what's the current situation, etc. We're, we're not finished yet. Huh? Infrastructure is a matter of, uh, um, how do you say, uh, keeping, keeping at it. Uh, 
there is the uh, challenge of uh, providing robust and stable infrastructure, but at the same time there is of course the challenge of uh, sketching a vision, uh, trying to interest people in uh, new types of infrastructure, uh, working together with uh, end users, with researchers to uh, make this infrastructure really uh, useful. I would say there is no time for uh, complacency what we have achieved. I think there is a uh, a, a shining future for us, but uh, we have to keep polishing it. Mm -hmm.